Good morning, um, and thank you for attending both in person and everyone online uh, to our presentation on leveraging student voice in decision making opportunities. Um, before I begin, as I get to the slides, um, I just want to recognize and pay respects um, to the elders of the land that I'm on today, uh, the Gadigal people of the Aura Nation, um, the land that we are meeting on in person. I encourage anyone online uh, to pay their respects to where they're zooming in from and recognize that we that they have shared and exchanged knowledge for thousands of years, just like we are doing today. Um, so my name is Andrew. Uh, I'm the Student Life Ambassador Coordinator here at the University of Sydney. Uh, and I'm very lucky um, to be managing the group of students um, that we call our Student Life Ambassadors. Um, you may have seen them around um, in their bright fluoro orange shirts. Um, they're very much there to help out with uh, any particular events uh, and anything of that nature as well. So. Um, uh, I'm also joined proudly um, by two of our Student Life Ambassadors, Jeremiah Lee and Yi Le Chua. Um, and instead of me introducing them, I might just give them, or I will keep that surprise to the end and let them introduce themselves um, as they share a little bit about their experience uh, of being an SLA. Um, we are really honored uh, to stand before you today to discuss the transformative role that the Student Life Ambassadors here at the University of Sydney uh, have. These ambassadors are not just representatives, uh, they are agents of change. Uh, they are actively engaged in shaping the university's experience for all students um, and their involvement in decision-making processes is critical as they bring a diverse perspective and insight that help guide the university's policies and also initiatives that the university has. My speech today will dive deep into the Student Life Ambassador Program and how we, the Student Life team, um, at the university uh, have been able to mold the student voice uh, feedback to be the center of uh, center of decision making that we do. Uh, I just do want to give a shout out to all the student life uh, team that are here with me today. Uh, I really appreciate your support uh, in coming to this room. Um, and again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, I hope by attending this speech today, um, you gain some insights into different approaches that could be implemented back in your own work environments, but more importantly, hearing real feedback from students about their experiences and how can we better engage them in the future. For a bit of context, the Student Life Ambassador Program was set up in 2022 uh, through a project to assist with students returning to campus. Uh, this was done predominantly through Welcome Week celebrations at the beginning of each semester, where they proudly wore their bright fluoro orange shirts. To this date, this is still one of the key priorities that this group has uh, as they assist with information booths and welcoming new students through cohort welcomes um, and uh, key welcome activations like our Welcome Festival. Beyond welcome, however, this group of students were engaged in ad hoc activations uh, around the university and never really had any focuses beyond the welcome period. Being a relatively new program compared to others that are more established within the university's institution, uh, we found ourselves with a bit of a problem on how we can utilize the Student Life Ambassadors. As I sat down with my manager and discussed how we can better sustain work for our 100 strong pool of Student Life Ambassadors, we saw a need to engage with students from their feedback and the impact that this can have on their student experience. This is where we found we had a resource that we could pull upon to help external stakeholders engage with students in a pain and stress-free way. The program is now uptaking many feedback sessions, co-design workshops and survey gathering sessions with many different stakeholders across the university in which I will let Jeremiah and Yi Le speak about afterwards. I know that this is not a relatively new phenomenon at many institutions and especially at your universities, you may have programs that are very similar where students can voice their opinions. But I wanna share with you today, three important learnings and commitments uh, that the University of Sydney has made to make students the center of the decision-making. The first is that the Student Life Ambassador Program is a testament to the university's uh, rich and very, cult uh, sorry, the university's commitment to diversity and inclusion. Our ambassadors come from all different disciplines within the universities, representing a wide range of cultures and backgrounds. This diversity is not just a statistic for us. It is a vital component of the program's success. 
by including a balanced mix of postgraduate and undergraduate students, as well as an equitable ratio of male and female participants, we ensure that all voices, uh, and, all voices and students are heard. In ensuring that, this, uh, ensuring that there is diversity within the team, the, they would then provide a snapshot of the university, rich and varied community. Their insights and feedbacks are invaluable in shaping policies and initiatives that directly impact their peers. The engagements of student life ambassadors is not just about their representation, it's about participation and co-creation. These ambassadors work closely with university staff and external stakeholders to co-design initiatives that enhance the student experience. This collaborative approach is the heart of the student life uh, partnership framework, which emphasizes the importance of putting students' voices at the forefront of all decision-making processes. This then leads me into my next key success feature, which is the implementation of our student life partnership framework. This framework is a comprehensive guide that outlines how to engage students effectively and provide support and best practices to external stakeholders. The framework is built on principles of co-design and collaboration and ensures that students are not just passive recipients of university policies, but actively contribute to their development. By involving students in design and implementation initiatives, the university fosters a sense of ownership and empowerment among its student body. One of the most significant aspects of the Student Life Partnership Framework is the focus on co-design initiatives with our students. This approach recognizes that students are experts in their own experiences and their insights are critical in creating effective and meaningful programs. By working together, students and staff can develop initiatives that are, rep uh, that are responsive to the needs of the student community and that they promote a positive and inclusive university environment. The framework also provides guidance on how to support students in their roles as co-designers. This includes offerings of training and resources to help them develop their skills and knowledge they need to contribute effectively. By investing in the development of the Student Life Ambassadors, the university ensures that they are well equipped to take on these leadership roles and to drive positive change within university communities. Finally, and the a most important point to me, is the importance of creating bonds with our students um, as another key success factor in how to leverage their student voice. Building a strong relationship with our student leaders is, a paramount, is paramount sorry, to fostering an environment where they feel empowered to share their opinions and take ownership of their work. When student leaders are supported and valued, they are more likely to engage actively and contribute meaningfully in their community. It is important to me that I see our student leaders as students first, understanding their needs, understanding their wants and their aspirations, and using that as a driving force to develop them and listen to them. Moreover, empowering student leaders to take ownership of their responsibilities cultivates a culture of accountability and innovation. When students are given autonomy to lead and make decisions, they develop critical thinking problem, uh, critical thinking and problem-solving skills that are essential for their future endeavors. This collaborative approach not only benefits the individual leader, but also strengthens the entire student body, creating a dynamic and inclusive community. So in conclusion, the Student Life Ambassador Program at the University of Sydney is a shining example of how students can be agents of transformation. Through their, in, through their involvement in decision-making processes, and their active participation in co-design initiatives, these ambassadors play a critical role in shaping the student experience. The diversity of the program ensures that all, vers uh, all voices are heard and valued, while the Student Life Partnership Framework provides a robust foundation for collaboration and co-creation. Both features alone cannot, uh, cannot hold a successful partnership with our students, but building strong relationships with them as student leaders ensures they feel a sense of value, that their voices mean something, that their feedback that they give is going to change the student experience across a large and very complex institution. Well, that is enough from me. And uh, now the moment you have all been waiting for, I will now pass over to Yila and Jeremiah, who will speak about their own experiences 
of being in the program and the learnings they have taken away uh, from this experience. Hi, everyone. I'm Yila, and I'm a fourth year commerce and law student in UCIT. And um, yeah, I've been an SLA for the past um, two years now. And I would like to share with you a little bit more about this really exciting journey that I've embarked on as an SLA. Uh, I'm from Malaysia and, um, you know, Malaysians are all big foodies. And if you are not a big foodie and you claim yourself to be a Malaysian, you are not a true Malaysian. Yeah, so, and I remember about a year ago, there's something that really excites me, which is um, there was an issue raised regarding the lack of food options on campus. And especially like after trading hours as well as during the weekends. And fast forward to now, guess what? We have micro markets set out to address that need. Um, if you are not aware, there's actually one right in this building downstairs. So feel free to take a look later when you are heading out of this building. Yeah, so, um, and I don't know about you, but when I first saw the micro markets, my eyes lit up. And even before I got coffee, which is usually the case, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, after the initial setup of the micro markets and the kitchenettes, we got the chance to provide feedbacks as SLAs. And we were grouped with architects and designers who genuinely wanted our inputs. They asked us further questions and even asked us to sketch out our ideas. And it was great to see our ideas come to life, even in the small details such as color scheme and uh, mural designs. Just a little fun fact. Do you know that blue color actually instills peace and calmness and it reduces stress? So yeah, maybe you will see a lot of like blue arounds because you know the SLA thinks that it is. Uh, nice, yeah. <laughs> and also during the discussion, the architects and designers also shared their challenges, which help us to come up with solutions that are practical and also address our needs. With the ideas from the first session, we continue to refine them in the second session with even more feedbacks from the students. We also looked at what other universities were doing in order to spark new ideas and make sure that our plans are even better. This process helped us to ensure that our ideas are more innovative and could be implemented effectively. We also brought up concerns about the lack of study spaces. You know, the libraries are always jam-packed. There's no power outlets at outdoor areas. We want natural light, this and that. Well, it's really hard to, to um, please students, right? But UCIT took these feedbacks and transformed the Gradigal Green area, which is a pedestrian corridor for students coming in through the Redfern station into a shaded study area and install outdoor power outlets. How cool is that, right? And it excites me to see students actually fully utilizing this area and enjoying the new space. Being involved in co-designing these new study areas gave me a sense of pride and responsibility in representing the wider student body. In our role as SLAs, we regularly do survey for students and get their feedbacks. I found myself taking a special interest in what students think about these new facilities. It has motivated me to ensure that my inputs represents the wider student community's needs and to bring new and interesting suggestions to the unit. Last and not least, being part of this Student Life Ambassador team led by Andrew has been immensely empowering. This role is not just another part-time job for me, and I believe that it is the same for the other SLAs too. I felt hurt and appreciated because of the trust Andrew and the team has in us. When I voiced a concern, Andrew and the team will always respect my perspective and do whatever it takes to support me and guide me along the journey. Being such role models to the SLAs, the senior SLAs such as Jeremiah here also took upon themselves to be a nurturing figure for the new SLAs. This journey has shown me the profound impact that trust and respect from higher level staff can have. I've never felt such a strong sense of belonging to the university and this has given me deep appreciation for the dedication the Student Life team invests in enhancing the experience for both students and SLAs on campus. This is why I still want to be an SLA and I really enjoyed this job. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeremiah. I recently graduated with a Bachelor of Architecture and Environment and will pursue my Master's in Architecture next year. I've been fortunate to be a Student Life Ambassador since its inception in 2022, and I remember my first ever opportunity, which was Welcome Week after the pandemic. The campus was filled with people, excited to come back, some visiting for the first time, or even family showing their children around campus. 
it really highlights the importance of the camp, uh, the impact of campus and student life and our responsibility in facilitating a better future for everyone. Over time, the role has evolved exponentially to what it is now. And I've had the privilege of being part of many pilot initiatives, seeing what works, what needs to be adjusted and improved upon. And fairly recently, the consent module, a mandatory online module that all students undertake each year and other co-creation driven projects that we've had the opportunity of participating in and have made a lasting impact on campus and student life. We had the incredible opportunity to help and aid the co-creation of the new online consent module, focusing on its implemented content and design. We work closely with the safer community staff who specialize in the immediate response to people that have experienced sexual misconduct, domestic and family violence, bullying harassment, and issues relating to modern slavery. During the consultation, we were involved with the selection process of the video content that would be embedded in the module, and we were provided the opportunity to voice our own insight feedback discussing the content structure and usability of the online module. I really appreciate it being, it being an integral part of that process, the co-creation, the decision-making, and actively participating. It made us feel con uh, confident in the changes and directions that were taken, and not just having the incredible opportunity to be a part of the initiative and being a core part of the decisions made, but most importantly, representing a wider student body who have voiced their own insight and ideas. And through us, having that responsibility to provide their feedback to create a lasting impact on campus and student life. As Yilo was talking about, we regularly go out into campus during the week to survey students to get their feedback. While doing the surveys, we sit down with them and we discuss about their journeys, their studies, and most importantly, what are the highlights of university and what could be improved upon. In doing so, we give the opportunity to not only people that are confident to voice their own opinions and ideas, but also people that do not. When they see people willingly approach them to take that leap of faith first, they feel more welcomed, comfortable, and ideas, and are encouraged to be more open in sharing their opinions and ideas as well. Another initiative that we've been a part of was the food trucks, which is now a key aspect of Eastern Avenue, which connects different parts of the Camperdown campus, and Cattagal Green, which is the closest outdoor area near students studying architecture, science, business, and engineering. The feedback from students were, con were wanting continued food truck availability throughout the semester and more seating areas. And this year with the feedback, we saw a revitalized Cattle Green area with new seating areas and Eastern Avenue having the provided trucks available throughout the semester. By active participation in this co-creation driven projects, we can create everlasting change. And we get that, and we get that privilege of representing a wider student body and having that responsibility to voice their own insight and ideas, but most importantly for the experience of future students that all of us want to see flourish. The future is bright for Student Life Ambassadors, and it is through the guidance and support, and most importantly, trust from Andrew and Adam, and I, that I believe will be a pinnacle of the initiative's continued success and making a lasting impact through co-creation decision-making projects. However, continuing the value of the importance of peer-to-peer -peer connections creating a sense of belonging, putting yourself in their shoes, making them feel comfortable and a lasting impact early in their student life. And I'm also looking forward to continuing the collaboration with other student life initiatives in the endeavor of transformational campus and student life experience. Thank you. Um, thank you so much, Jeremiah and Yule. Um, and to round off our speech, and as we look forward to the future, the engagement of Student Life Ambassadors will continue to be a vital component of the university's efforts to create a positive and inclusive environment for all students. By putting student voices at the forefront of the decision-making processes and by fostering a culture of collaboration and co-design, the University of Sydney is not just preparing students for the future, it is empowering them to shape it. Thank you so much for listening to us and spending your afternoon um, before we head to lunch. Um, would love to answer any questions. Uh, we do have some time before we can get to uh, lunch if anyone has any questions. Otherwise, we will be around um, for lunchtime. So feel free to come up to us uh, and have a chat as well. And yes. Great. Right. Awesome. No questions is good. 